Everything's installed, usable. Once we got that, we could install the stove, which has been really nice. And we had to do our hood vent. So that, whoa, there we go. And we struggled a little bit with the hood vent just because we weren't exactly sure what we wanted to do. Because we made our cabinet so tall, the one that came from the cabinet place itself wasn't tall enough. It would have looked awkwardly small. So we were gonna try and build our own and we were just kind of at the end of our DIY rope, done doing projects, done trying to figure it out. It would have taken us forever. And I stumbled upon this place online. And I'll tag them just because it was really cool. They have a bunch of different choices of styles that you could go with. And you give them your dimensions and the insert that you have. And they build it um, and design it to fit in there. And then it comes in pieces. So it's built to your specifications. And then it just comes in like little Lego pieces with really great instructions how to put it together, how to mount it. So we did all that and now it's my turn to make it look pretty. So I think I have ideas for that. I'll try and I'll try and take you along, show you how I'm doing it. And also for the backsplash because oh, you can kind of see, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. They're kind of an irregular subway tile. But um, we're gonna use the same method to install it that we did at our last house, which is a little bit different. So I picked up some wood to start the hood vent. This is a Naughty Alder. I got a one by 12 and a couple one by eights and a one by four. I don't know if it's everything I need. I'm just kind of winging it. So I'm not sure exactly what my plan is, but it's gonna get me started. So we'll see how far we go. I'm gonna start on the inside and trim that out because it's visible. So we wanna make it look as nice as the outside. So that's what I'm doing first. All right, so I'm already switching gears a little bit because I tried using the alder on the inside and I just decided it was gonna to be too thick because you can see how thick this box is already. And when I have it faced on the outside, plus the inside, it would've Okay, so the inside's done. I found some quarter inch plywood that we had, so that'll stain up nice enough and look okay. Um, and then I just cut it down with a table saw, used some liquid nails on the back and three quarter inch nails. Okay, so now I'm working on the front and I've got my face piece cut. I did the mitered edge on the sides, so that way when I put it on the front, these little side pieces will meet up with it and it'll look nice. All right, so here is the front piece uh, nailed and glued on and I've got the sides yeah. going with the miter cut. Yeah! And now I have to figure out how I'm yeah. gonna do my trim and what I'm gonna do on top. So now I'm working on the trim piece that's gonna go underneath. I'm using a one by four and I mitered all my edges to make a box, but the back of it I'm going to cut off by two inches just because. So the reason I'm gonna cut off the back is you can see how on the front and the sides it's pretty thick, but the back just has a half inch or three quarter inch. So I don't want it to stick out into the inside of the box too much. Okay, so that's with the trim on, and then I just set that piece up top because I'm gonna mimic that on the top. You can see underneath, it looks nice and pretty now. And then I'll probably do kind of a mirror image on the top. I'm ready to cut out the face. I just marked the middle, measured and marked each side, and I'm gonna use my skill saw to cut that out. We decided to go with a uh, knotty alder plywood just so it would be it's gonna be a little bit lighter weight and then just make it a cleaner look than if we were to do like kind of a shiplap or a faux shiplap or, um, so anyways, that's what we decided we wanted. Alrighty, so here is the top and the sides. I got them all on and nailed in place. I tried to do nails where it's gonna be covered up by trim too. Just save me a little work on the end. And then for the top, after thinking about angles, I just so I just did a three sided out of one by threes and it's just gonna kind of sit on top and I'll nail that in place also. All right, there it is. Everything's nailed in place. And then last night I just did these little trim pieces on the side so it's ready for stain. I think I love it. I might still do some crumb molding at the top. <laughs> 